in in okay, all right. In the the new Candyman, the, the Candyman came out in 2020. 2019, 2020. Yeah, this it was 2020. Let's see, when did it come out? I have one, it. I think. I have it pulled oh, up. Oh, 2021. Here. Okay, Give all right. A so the, the the most recent Candyman sequel that that came out where um in the movie the uh the lead character uh his name is Anthony McCoy. Right? A- Anthony McCoy. Yeah. He uh he is an artist. Uh uh he is a starving artist actually. Well no, he's not starving, but he's a yeah. you know, he he's a struggling artist and he has an opportunity to exhibit some of his art in this in his girlfriend's gallery. His girlfriend I, 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 I got I got let's keep it real, dude. Like uh-huh. he the, the the girlfriend's brother uh-huh. was chitting all over him because uh-huh. he was a freeloader, dude. Like yeah. he yeah. was a yeah. star- he was a starving artist, except he wasn't starving because his girlfriend was feeding him. That's yeah, what yeah. was going on there. Yeah, yeah. That, that, yeah. That, 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 ran the gallery. Like, Yo, you need to kick this bomb out already, dude. I told you. So, yeah. I'm sorry. So yeah. I had to no, no, I'm, no. I, I'm, I'm glad you said it because that was that, that was exactly <laughs> the a situation. Yeah, 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 like, yeah like his his <laughs> girlfriend has a great career, makes great money, and right. he is a, a struggling artist. And he was uh, he had a chance to display some art throughout the movie, and I thought it would be great. To have Monty, our resident artist, right, who has worked on many things and has does all the art design that you see on the show. He's got his uh, like he's got his own art page. He's got his uh, a channel on YouTube dedicated just to him drawing fantastic shit, you know. Love and I've shit. I've seen some exhibits for Monty that are breathtaking. So I thought it would be great. I called Monty today while I was watching Candyman. Thirty minutes into the movie, I was like, Monty. This you people in the movie is an artist, and you should critique his art, right? Yes, like, yes. Like, I, I Anthony McCoy. Critique, like, like, if, like, if this universe is a real place that we happen to inhabit, and you went and you saw these pieces of art from artist Anthony McCoy. McCoy yeah. Right. What would you? How would you rate his art? So okay. that's what I want to do right now. I want to see Monty rate the art in a uh, 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 the artist art yeah, from. Uh, I'm interested in that yeah. too. I, okay, I, I, I want I want to see how you do this. All right, right, let's go. What do we got? Man. What do we got? Let's see. Show me the first one. I remember seeing it. Up, oh, up. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's the stuff. All right, all right. I remember this. Yeah. This, this was is... that. This was like so. At the, at the art exhibit, they had the mirror, and, <coughs> and when you go inside the mirror, these are the pieces of this art. Mom, of what do you think? What do you think of this art? You and you saw it in the context of the film as well. Yeah. So what do you think of this? Yeah, I'm looking at this, and um, as far as the, like the reaction from the, the the critic or whoever that was in in the movie, I I'm like, this is kind of lame. Like, what are we doing? Like you open the mirror and this is what we see. Now, can, can you tell us why it's it's lame, Monty? Because I'm looking in, I see disjointed, yeah, show your red and blue shapes. I can't make out what any of that shit is. Like nothing, nothing grabs me when I open it. I open it and I'm like, am am I looking inside the dumpster? What is this? <laughs> What's happening? And and I know that one piece. That one piece was the piece that he showed her from earlier, but you can't tell that's what it is because he's got it lit weird. So I don't know what any of this is. Well, so, the one in the red, what I'm seeing is, uh, I mean, I'm interpreting that as uh, hands that are bound by blood and forced to spread the blood. Oh, you see hands? Yeah. <laughs> see the hands I don't. I don't They're see. They're terrible hands. hands. But yeah. you know, I mean, uh, yeah. and then the the blue one is like contrast to that, yeah. where there's just a bunch of hands working together to create something. Yeah, I see why. I see why uh, uh, Anthony McCoy is is struggling. He's very hit or miss. <laughs> <laughs> Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. So, so right. yeah. What, what else? You want to check out another piece yeah, of art, let's, let's and Anthony one. McCoy's art. Yeah, that was the thing. You open that and you see what's inside of that. Like, that was a cool idea. If you live in this world where nobody's ever heard of Candyman movies or anything like that, and he finds this story and he's like, hey, here's the thing, this guy Candyman, you say his name five times in a mirror. Here's a mirror. I like that idea of, 
you know, tempting people to do it right there at the gallery. That's better than what's inside of it. Mm-hmm. Just the mirror yeah. sitting there. That's a good. Yeah, the statement is what you're yeah. saying is. Uh, yeah, is is more powerful than yeah. the actual art. I yeah, that's you. such a better the, piece. Just the mirror. Yeah, Which, see, I thought the piece was just the mirror at first, and I thought it was lame as shit. But yeah. you you saying that the the mirror by itself is? is I'm good. not saying the mirror is good. I'm saying it's a better piece than what's inside of the mirror. Oh, okay, gotcha, 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 yeah. gotcha. Yeah. Like it's like when you go in your friend's medicine cabinet looking for Viagra, and instead you just find like his heart pills. Yeah, yeah. This is like the supernatural's <laughs> medicine cabinet that he gotcha. put up in the gallery. Okay, gotcha. Heard, heard. Yeah. Also, Monty, I don't know where you hide your Viagras at. So. <laughs> I don't have Viagra. I, that's well, too you, small. Well, to I, read. You're definitely gonna be short a couple heart yeah, pills. Yeah, okay? I can tell you that because I was. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Those are those are too tiny to read. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Going. Now that's that. Now that's not. Or keep going past it. All right. It, there we go. Yeah, that's the first piece, the one he showed her. Mm-hmm. Um. I mean, it's it's all right. I see why her reaction was what it was to it. Yeah. Like, her, his his girlfriend's reaction. Uh, his uh, uh, Anthony McCoy's girlfriend was played by uh, uh, Miss Mar- uh, 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 I'm sorry, uh, uh, Miss Marvel actress. No, not Miss Marvel. Uh, what's her name? Monica uh, Rambeau. Photon? Huh? She plays yeah, Photon, she, she, right? She eventually, yeah, Monica Rambeau eventually yeah. Photon, I think. Yeah, yeah, yes. you're right. Mo- Monica Rambeau from uh, WandaVision in the Marvels played by uh, 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 Tiana Paris. And um, yeah, she when she saw that art, she said it was very literal to the point where there's there's no room for interpretation. Yeah, that's actually pretty. Yeah, that sounds about right because yeah. I, I can absolutely make out what it is, and and I can kind of already. I mean, if if I'm applying Occam's razor, you know, yeah, it's obvious what the statement is, and you know, unless it's something else, explain it to me. But I see what she's saying, which yeah. is, mm-hmm. it's it's too self-explanatory like i could already tell the statement you're trying yeah. to make with it yeah and that's mm-hmm. not always bad though but mm-hmm. in this case it's right just, there's nothing striking about it okay. other than all okay right. this is the scene okay yeah which okay all right f- fair enough there, there's one more piece i believe okay Get Monty's oh, reaction to oh, this. Oh, I don't think Zoe got that one. I might oh, not. Have okay, sent well, it. all right. Well, then that, well, that's it. Then that, but, that's all. See, that's the thing. The other pieces, and uh-huh. I'll, I'll get into that when it's my turn. You go. I'll talk about those other pieces. Oh, okay. Huh? All right. So, okay. It's let's what? talk about. Uh, oh, so I'm before... first. Wait. Oh, oh, she had it where I'm going first. All right. Zoe flipped the orders. Or, oh, okay. She staggered the orders. All right. Uh-huh. All right. Well, uh-huh. look, there look. It is. Oh, I'm going last on this one. Okay. Yes. There we go. Yeah. Yes. I'll start by talking talking about the piece, the 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 later pieces, the later pieces he did as he was going through his transformation. That shit was raw and just kind of painful, and there were just shots of faces. That mm-hmm. art I thought was candy absolutely man. beautiful. It was the can- it was the candy man. Yeah, yeah. The, the the when it got really dark. Yeah, uh, yeah, right. those darks. I, I, I was and, actually and, gonna mention that myself. Yeah, I, and I just those really pops of color. Them. It just it looked gross without being gross. It was whoever they got to do those pieces, fucking chef's kiss on those, fucking yeah. beautiful, all of it. Which which brings me to one of the things I hated about this movie. What the fuck was her freak out in her job? <laughs> she should have walked in that studio and said, I don't know what the fuck's wrong with you, but this is money. Because <laughs> that shit is money. <laughs> Why is her reaction? What the fuck yeah. is going on? No, I but, thought the exact same thing at yeah. that very moment watching the movie earlier today. Yeah, I we swear. see what she does. I had the same exact reaction where I was like, that's the best thing I've seen him do yet. What yeah. is the problem? Yeah, you, you walked in about this to the studio in your home. home with this guy, and he's not there, and it's money. And he walks in and goes, don't look at that. You go, no, 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 no. Everybody <laughs> needs to look at this. That's the reaction. <laughs> like, we're doing, we're, you're getting a solo show with this. That's what should have happened. And then, mm-hmm. you know, the solo show gets murdered. That's where I thought we were going to go. <clears throat> but... But there was so much stuff, like, 
one of the things I loved, like I loved, I, I love the beginning, like the logos, like how they took the Universal, all the tag logos, and everything was mirrored. Mm-hmm. That was mm-hmm. a great idea because I thought I was watching a bootleg at first. I'm like, no, I'm not watching a boot- bootleg. I'm on a streaming platform. So, I got the Korean download again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then, and when he's looking at the fucking mirror piece, and he's talking to that lady, and he's explaining his art, I know a lot of artists. I happen to also be one, but I won't use myself as an example. Not a single one of the artists I talk to has ever dreamt of, thought about, or fixed their mouth to describe their art in such a ridiculous way as he did his. (laughs) No artist talks like that. Nobody. Nobody. It's... Unless they're in some world I don't know about. Unless that's the money artist that do that. But he ain't got no money. So no. No artist talks like that. Especially <laughs> an artist on his level. He don't talk like that. Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. I mean, I mean look, listen. It, they say that it had been years since his last successful pieces. Yeah. So, so he don't talk like that. And then and then at the showing, the whoever... the the Everybody that made fun of him at the end as he walked out and he's like, dickhead... And he cracked all those jokes. That was mm-hmm. hilarious. But then that motherfucker gets killed got, by Candyman. And he sees it pop up on the news. And they <laughs> say the name of his piece. Say my name. And he's like, what? What? Uh, I, I mean, I mean, no, no. Let him be happy that they said the name. They said his name. The name of his piece. Say my name. And because that dude was an asshole to him. Fuck him. I don't give a fuck if that nigga's dead. But that you people's dead. They said my name. (laughs) So, yeah. That is hilarious. Yeah, and then I didn't kill him. Somebody else did. But my piece got some publicity out of it. Good luck, asshole. Look what happened. You dead, and they're talking about me. So, yeah. So, and then... And then going into the girlfriend's backstory, that seemed useless. That was mm-hmm. just, why? Why mm-hmm. do we care that her daddy mm-hmm. looked at her and said, do you know your daddy can fly and jumped out of a building? Because it played no part in anything mm-hmm. other than her I and her brother trying to decide yeah. if they were going to sell, sell his art. Mm-hmm. We don't care about your daddy's art right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Candyman is out there. Mm-hmm. It does, mm-hmm. You don't need the backstory to explain why you're taking in this artist. It was useless. You, you actually just just mentioned <laughs> one of the two issues I had with this film. That yeah. was that was one of them. Yeah, that was yeah. that was one. Yeah. yeah, but I did notice one thing in this movie: they flipped the script on deaths up until the end. Only white people died. The black people survived. The mm-hmm. black people were all safe until we got mm-hmm. to the main villains. Mm-hmm. Never saw yeah. that before in a movie. That was interesting, <clears throat> and. Yeah, yeah, I like the idea of comparing the swarm to the police. So that that was that was a cool bit. Um, but overall, with this movie, that's both what I liked and hated about this movie. Um, it was okay to watch. I again never watching this again. Um, <laughs> <me either. laughs> Fairest grade I can give it is. A C plus. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Here. Okay. All right. Okay. Cool. All right. The uh, the the glare. What did you think of 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 Candyman uh, sequel? For, and and I I want to ask you this question because I know Monty had never seen the original Candyman. Had you ever seen the original Candyman? The glare. Um, when I was much younger and kind of background, I didn't really pay close attention to it. Honestly. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Um, See, I, I had never seen it, and I rewatched, and I so I watched the. You know what? I'll save it for mine in a bit. Go go ahead, the glare. I wanted to ask yeah, that question. Yeah. I I I I could say that I enjoyed this one more than I remember enjoying the original. Mm-hmm. But um, but yeah, there there was. I mean. There was one scene that stuck out that I thought was really funny because finally, you know, the the, the gay brother of the girlfriend is mm-hmm. like, oh, girl, blah, blah, blah. I told you he was a bum. I told you not to let him live in his house and blah, blah, blah. Right. Mm-hmm. And um, 
And then uh, she's they're talking about how ridiculously stupid it would be. Somebody says, you know, to say Candyman's name three times. And then she's laying on the couch and she goes, who would be stupid enough to do that? And then it just cuts right to a white teenage girl <laughs> walking down the halls of a high school. And I was... <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. I got mad because, like, I was like, "Man, that's racist as hell. That's reverse racism of my result, but it's accurate as fuck." <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> it was accurate as fuck. Funny. So, like, there were little things that was like, "Man, you know," but then they'd redeem themselves, you know. And and it was kind of cool that they cut to the original actor, or at least a computer animated version of the original actor at yeah. the very end, like that. And mm-hmm. I was like, "That's mm-hmm. cool." You know, so there was some nostalgia, but since I didn't really appreciate the original that much, the nostalgia didn't hold that much water. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, but but it was, I mean, uh, get out. I, I'm going to go with Monty and, and give it a C plus as well. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, get out is like just supremely better. In, yeah. In oh, oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Not, not even close. Yeah. It's it's not even a contest. And not you, even. You, right. You, yeah. You left me a whole bunch of time to talk because I got a lot to say. I wrote a, I wrote a lot down about this movie. Um, <laughs> Here we go. So uh, uh, before I started, I, I got to go off camera real quick, but I'm still listening. I just got to go off camera. Yeah. yeah. Right. I got I, 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 so uh, first thing first, like, I, I decided to like before I watched uh, the new Candyman, I was like, you know what? It's been years since I watched the original Candyman. Let me watch. Let me go find a, a YouTube recap video first just to remind myself of what happened before I go into the film. And as I was watching the recap, it dawned on me that I've never seen Candyman, right? <laughs> Candyman is one of those urban, urban legends that like every black person has seen. And I just never got around to it. And I've heard so many. It's like meeting somebody who's never seen Star Wars, right? Yeah. They've never seen it, but there are so many cultural references that are made to Star Wars where you feel like you've seen it even if you haven't, right? You've yeah. seen the commercials and you know, may the force be with you and all. So you know all so much of the stuff that you'd be like, well, I've never seen it, but maybe I did see it and I just don't remember. And it's just, and I realized as I was watching the recap of Candyman that I had never seen Candyman. So the first thing I did today was I, I downloaded and watched the original Candyman film from 1992. That wow. was the first thing I did. Um, and not that anybody asked, but it seemed real clear to me that the director <laughs> of that movie uh, likes watching white girl BBC porn. I will <laughs> come back to that and defend that statement later. But yeah, that movie very much is like... Yeah, he 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 had a specific type of fantasy. Um, <laughs> but anyway, uh, uh, I'm gonna go through these fast. I love the upside down opening shots as well as the backwards mirror image production logo Rest shots. I, I, I always love when horror films do the upside down shots. I, I think yeah. that's such a cool visual, and it's super easy, and it just it does a very good job of creating that that tension in a film. Yeah, I love it does. the film. Yeah, I never caught that before, but you're making an excellent point. Like, oh, look, I, 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 got, I got support because I'm going to do the stuff that I love about it first so I can get to the stuff that I don't like about it. Uh, I love the film opening with a group of affluent black bourgeoisie friends talking about <laughs> the history of Cabrini Green's project and gentrification and then having the only white person in the room tell these black bourgeoisie how they themselves are capitalizing on gentrification. Yes. I I thought that was fantastic commentary there, yeah. right? It's like you complaining about the problem, but also you are enjoying the benefits from it. I thought that was dope. Um, yeah. I am a huge fan of the shadow puppet art that they oh, use yeah. to they, they, they use shadow puppet art to to, 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 to do exposition dumps in the film. Yeah. And I thought, I thought that was cool too. And, as as a as a as a storyteller, I think that was just a phenomenal tool, right? Because I hate exposition dumps, especially when it's just one character just monologuing about what and happened a really in the past. creative way to save money on a budget too. Really yeah. creative way to yeah, do that. Yeah, it was excellent because like shadow puppet art has got to be cheaper than animation, right? Yeah. And it looks fucking great. 
Yeah. So uh, I thought the Shadow Puppet art was fantastic. Uh, I love Coleman Domingo's references to Girl X and Dantrell Davis, right? So let me give y'all a little bit of backstory. And and the glare, you will appreciate this, right? So I was watching, <laughs> as I'm watching Candyman, I'm also consuming all of this background information about, like, the 92 film, how it got created, stuff like that. It was based on a Clive, uh, a, a Clive Barker uh, a short story called The Forbidden, right? I remember and, Clive Barker being mentioned back in 92 yes, uh, nice. about that movie. Yes, okay. Yes, so, so Clive Barker, uh, 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 it was based on his uh, book, The For- Forbidden. The director got the licensing rights uh, to make this movie from Clive Barker, and because he was doing a bunch of work in Chicago at the time, he thought it would be cool to. So, like, the Forbidden is more of a, it, it takes place in Liverpool, and the 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 killer is is more classist. BBC. Yeah, it's more classist than it is racist, right? So, uh, uh, the director of the '92 <laughs> film decided BBC. to go more racist <laughs> than classist, even though you could make the argument that class racist is racism is classism. That's a yeah. whole other argument, you know, for a different show. Um, that's a whole but, show right there. What are you yeah. talking about? Oh, oh, yeah. that, 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 that is that that in, in itself is a show, right? Yeah. But uh, in like right before they filmed uh, uh, the '92, right, right, right before the the '92 Candyman film came out at the Cabrini Green's housing project, and and I spent about a year of my life in Southside Chicago, 95th and West Carolina. Um, the uh, a couple of days before the release of the Candyman film, there was a young child by the name of Dantrell Davis that got killed at the, the Cabrini Green's housing project. And in the 92 film, the woman that's telling uh, uh, Virginia Madison, uh, the Virginia Madison, the, uh, uh, the, the main character of the first film, Helen, uh, the person, um, the person that's telling her about the Cabrini Green's project is like, you need to be careful because a kid just got shot there. That had like that line was in the movie and happened, and in the movie was released three days before this kid was killed. Fuck. After Dantrell wow. Davis was killed, the city of Chicago had serious conversations about shutting those projects down. So his death kind of led his death, the release of the film, you know, led to the housing development actually being shut down, right? And wow. in the movie, uh, Coleman Domingo makes a reference to Dantrell Davis and Girl X. Girl X was this nine-year-old girl that got raped and killed in those projects. But Dantrell Davis, black young black boy coming home from school, got hit by a straight bullet. Girl X was a young black girl got raped and killed uh, at that, uh, uh, that 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 project at the Cabrini Green's housing project. But then and they used he, that for a skeletal system in the story of this and, remake and, 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 and this film, okay, right? So yeah. when Coleman Domingo says, like, he's like, yeah, Girl X gets killed here, nothing happens. Dantrell Davis gets killed here, nothing happens. This white girl gets killed here, and now they shut the projects down, yeah. right? <laughs> and he's talking about Virginia Madsen, the main character from the first Candyman film. I love that they put that reference in the film, right? I, I think right. that was just a, a brilliant head nod. Like, drop one of the clues bombs for Nia DaCosta, the director, for doing that shit. That shit was fantastic. Um... I, uh, uh, like the, I love the scene where, uh, like, where, uh, uh, um, I, I keep wanting to call him Dr. Manhattan. His name is Yaya Mateen, right? Yeah, I can't uh, and I keep wanting to call him Dr. Manhattan because he played Dr. Manhattan in the Watchmen in TV the series. series. So yeah. I keep saying, in my head, I keep saying Dr. Manhattan and Monica Rambeau, right? And I, yeah. you know, and I gotta stop that shit. But Tony, uh, Tony McCoy tells his girlfriend, uh, played by Tayana Paris, he was like, hey, you want to say his name five times? And she's like, fuck, no, I don't want to say his name ten times. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, if a Marvel superhero, and look, listen, Monty, I'm telling you now, I'm sorry, I'm apologizing, I'm not, I, I'm, I'm apologizing ahead of time. If a Marvel superhero says, don't say it, nigga, then don't say it, nigga, okay? It's <laughs> always saying it. Okay. Yes. It, it, like this motherfucker done fought the Cree, and she was and, and she was stuck in Westview with when fucking Wanda was fucking brainwashing people and shit. If she tell you not to say Candyman, do Don't not say, say Candyman. Don't right? say it. Um. Yeah. So yeah, couple couple of, <laughs> couple of things that I thought was awesome. I I like the criticism of the modern art scene, how artists will live in poorer areas so they can work on their art without having to pay or uh, work a job or have to give back to the community. I thought that was a fantastic 
um, criticism, you know, and I like the way he countered that criticism by saying, yeah, how are these artists getting into these dilapidated areas, right? He's like, basically, we don't create the hood. We deal with the hood, you know, <laughs> and I love that that was a scene that they brought up. Um, uh, I love the scene where Tony, uh, the, the main character, uh, Tony McCoy, sees the reflection of himself as Candyman, right? Yeah. And the movements are, are, are perfectly yeah, in sync. That was great. Which s- sidebar, uh, uh, Yaya Martin, the, the 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 lead actor, the the Candyman that we're seeing in the mirror is also him. So he had to film himself doing both sets of movements and then sync them shits up at the same. Like fantastic work. It was a great. It was an excellent yeah. fucking scene. Um, if you have a uh, trypophobia. Uh, this movie is gonna fuck you up because there are some scenes there where there's like the hive, the the, the comb, the honeycomb is growing out the side of his face. The severed hand scene was a plus, uh, uh, and, and and you got some A1 body horror. Getting a chance to see his hand get cut off, getting a chance to see the the hook get inserted in it. Um, I love the cops shooting Candyman and then trying to convince his bitch to change her statement <laughs> to line up with the cops. Boy, drop one of Clues Bar for that shit. Yeah. That was great. <laughs> yeah. Excellent scene. Excellent scene. And the ending with the shadow art retelling the origins of all the other candy mans. Yeah. Right? I thought that was fantastic. That yeah, that shit was that great. Coming. I also love how the titles, uh, are sh- uh, and I also love you. And just added bonus, like as they're showing the shadow art on one on one wall, on the other wall of the art exhibit, it's rolling the actual credits to the film that we're watching in real time. Nia DaCosta has a fantastic eye. Right, I love some of the the visual shit that she does and the way she tells the story, like the way she sets up some of the move, uh, the, the the scenes. And I think it just her eye is fantastic. I love her direction, and I think all that stuff is fan fucking tastic. Yeah, if yeah. there were flaws, it was definitely not in the directing. I'll give you, yeah, yeah that for yeah. sure. Yeah, like, no. Nah. Uh, if, if there were things uh, that I would change about that movie, it would definitely not be in the directing. Yeah. Now, uh, that being I, said, I agree with you. the great. things that I did not like about this movie, yeah. and it's not many, but right, you know, there's a couple, couple little things. Monty pointed on one where it was a, a um, it, there was a, a little bit of a tease of a backstory that happened with uh, uh, Tiana Paris's uh, father at a certain yeah. point in her life that play, that has no relevance to the remainder of the story. Yes. Right. Like, take that shit out of the movie. It don't need to be there. Yeah. Um, what I didn't like. OK. How come in movies when they smoke weed or drink alcohol instantly become stumblingly unsober? Right. right? This man <laughs> got a bad critique from an artist in real time, had a single beer, and, yeah. then, cut, and then cussed out two people and tripped and fell out the museum. I'm so glad you brought that up yes. because I was thinking the same thing. And I was like, dude, is he getting like that on beer? <laughs> what is going on? Lightweight. I didn't realize it was only Lightweight. one. But I yeah. was like, it's beer. What are you doing, dude? Yeah, like, this, that... is, this is your life. You've been working your ass off to get to this point in this art gallery. You have your own show, and you're going to piss it away because you can't handle beer? Yeah, that's <laughs> it. And, and, and the what? same thing happens in movies and TV shows when, when, when characters smoke weed. Like, they hit a little bit of weed, and then all of a sudden, they're, like, giggling and want to read them. Yeah. But wait, wait, wait. Like, yeah, man, like, that's, can that's can not I add how it works to that? for a lot of people. Yeah. And, and I've I've always hated when movies and TV shoot TV shows do that shit. Yeah. Also, um, uh, 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 there's there's a uh, when they in the after after that scene happens and they're in the art gallery. Uh, Monty spoke on this scene right where it was like the 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 guy uh, Clive is there with with the girl that he's fucking in the in the museum and and she's like, hey, we should go in the mirror and say Candyman five times and then they proceed. <laughs> To say candy, you know, candy man fighting, and then he comes out and he kills them, right? Because yeah. of course, he <laughs> well, also right. he also destroyed multiple pieces of art. Okay, and yes. I'm not okay with that because you why you got to be a serial murder and you a vandal at the same time. Yep. Okay. <laughs> a lot of artists spent a lot of time and energy working on those pieces for him to just walk around and laissez faire, just be like tanny all up with his fucking hook. But hey, this shit ain't even about you. This is about these white folks. You know, stop the shit right now. Okay. And that was a really predictable scene too, because like a nobody had gotten killed yet in the movie, mm-hmm. and b. 
they were the two biggest white assholes in the movie. Mm -hmm. And it was just like, mm -hmm. all right, it's about time somebody gets killed here. These people are about to get killed right here. Yeah, yeah, you, you, de you, you definitely like, feel right it. Now, like, they, yeah. like as, yeah. as soon as she was like, I don't want to have want sex them with you. want them to die. You yeah. as, soon as, as soon as she says, I don't want to have sex with you, let's have sex in front of this mirror and say candy, man. Like, wait a minute, what the fuck? First, yeah. first off, I'm not having sex with no you're woman assholes, that wants to have sex with him. You're white and you're stupid. Like, yeah. all three, yeah, like, that's it. That's the trifecta. You're assholes, you're white, and you're stupid. You're a murder victim in a horror movie. Yes. Yeah. Like, and, yes. And, and, and that shit bothered me. I hated that Coleman Domingo uh, went full season eight Daenerys Targaryen at the end of the film. Like, he was just like the wise old black dude all movie. And then at the very end of it, he was like, I'm mad and I want to bring Candyman back. And it was like, <laughs> it just felt like such a hard pivot from yeah. the character he had been. And if if he was supposed to be angry at the gentrification of his community and wanted to get back at people by... Yeah. releasing Candyman on his enemies, right? They did not do a good enough job yeah. establishing that through line in the story for no, that to make sense. Yeah, it's very much yeah. like you come into my house and we're just hanging out having a good time. I'm mm -hmm. over at the stove mixing up some beans. You go, Monty, can you can you scoop me some beans in this bowl? Don't yeah. mind if I do! And I yeah. start swinging a knife at you. Exactly. <laughs> it, 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 exactly. Like, it was just, it just, it was felt out of place. And the last thing, like, uh, 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 this man, uh, 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 Anthony, uh, Doctor Manhattan, uh, Yaya Martin. Uh, his name is Tony McCoy. I keep, I, I keep struggling with his name. Tony McCoy, the main character, gets stung by a bee, right? <laughs> and then came down with a case of leprosy and waited a really, really, really long yes. time before he decided to go to a hospital, okay? Like, this man <laughs> yeah. got stung on the hand, and his hand immediately turned to rock, okay? And this man didn't go to a doctor for weeks in this motherfucking movie. This man's hand looked like Monty feet, just crusty and <laughs> My bleeding, feet are pretty. What okay? are you talking about? And, and the lady tells him, you were born here, and it's news to him. Yeah. So yeah. it's like... This lady could have like hooked you up with a whole lot of information and yeah. probably healed you up if you would have just showed up there earlier, dude. Now she's giving you your life story and now it's too late. Now you yeah, got yeah. honeycombs growing out of your face. Yeah, you don't like, yeah, fucked that, up like, now, Aaron. Hey, hey, yeah, and as I'm saying, yeah, like his hand looked like Monty's feet, crusty and bleeding. That man's hand looked like Monty's beard, just dried out and covered in scab meat. That what? man's hand looked like Monty's leather jacket, just scratched up like a wild possum got to it. Okay, Not the tracking. Come on, terrible, terrible. That was, that, that was it. That that, that none of that jacket, is fucking Monty. true. I still love the jacket, Monty. It's right yeah. here. I always, love it. always terrible. I still love it. Terrible. So Wherever yeah, I go, I, I, I can I, just do this and grab the jacket. But honestly, the worst thing about watching Candyman was watching Candyman on Amazon Prime. Because Amazon <laughs> Prime is like, hey, you want to watch some commercials? I was like, no, I don't. Well, too fucking bad. You're going to get them. And they were putting commercial breaks in the weirdest parts of this fucking movie. Like a motherfucker. I, I, I rented it. I paid for it. Fuck yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen, I give you Amazon. Right. I, I give Amazon. I give Jeff Bezos too much of my goddamn money every fucking year. Take the goddamn commercials out of my shit, okay? The fact, they had so many commercials in that shit. At one point, they was like, Hey, just want you to know we got seven ads coming up. What the fuck? I'm in the middle of a movie. I'm, in, I'm watching the movie right now. Dude, I'm, <laughs> okay. I'm a smoker, okay? I'm a smoker. Like, I blow money like an idiot on cigarettes, okay? $4 for no commercials is a no brainer. Yeah. Mm. Four bucks, no commercials, easy peasy. You got me. Yeah, I can Here see that. I, it's a look. I, I, I enjoyed this movie. Uh, uh, there, there are actually a lot of references that they make to the original. Candyman, and I think to the, the 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 subsequent sequels. So I'm glad that I took the time and watched the original. Like uh, uh, at the end of the the original Candyman movie, um, uh, uh, Virginia Madsen's character, the main character, uh, uh, she decides that she's gonna sacrifice her life, you know, to kill, you know, so that way this this small child doesn't get fucking murdered by Candyman. He's basically like, hey, listen, either you're gonna join me or I'm gonna kill this baby. And she was like, all right, well, I'm gonna join you then. And she was like, is it going to hurt? He's like, oh, yeah, it's going to hurt like a bitch. I'm going to kill the fuck out of you, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know? And then they, and then he hides the baby, like, in what ends up being a, a funeral pyre, right? And his, his desire is for him, 
the white lady and 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 the baby to all die together. And this white lady grabs this baby, crawls out the fucking fire, and then gives the baby back to his mom, and then walks back into the fire to make sure that Candyman fucking dies. Right? Mm-hmm. That is a very powerful scene, and it's a relevant scene to this movie. Yes. You know, and like, 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 look, listen, I can, I can keep going, but I'm, I'm gonna stop here because we, we got other movies. We got one, we got another movie to talk about. And the next movie is the one we gotta talk about. Right? <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. um, we gotta talk about Leprechaun in the fucking hood. Yeah. But like, only I'm... you guys could get me to watch that movie, by the <laughs> way. <laughs> so you know. Oh, I, we're listen, getting there. I, get right. I, I, this movie is really, really, really good. It was almost really good. I gave this movie a B minus. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's okay. why when Monty said C plus, I was like, yeah, B minus. Like the, yeah. the original, and, and I hate comparing one movie to another. Like each movie should stand on on its own, but because it's a part of a series, right? Because it is a sequel of, uh, uh, and part of a franchise where all the stories are tied together. In the uh, original movie, there were a lot of really good horror scenes. Like there's a scene where. Like they cut a dog's, they cut a Rottweiler's head off in that movie. They fucking ripped the child's dick off in that movie. You know what I'm saying? Like they yeah. got ripped. And and the the scene that stands out for a lot of people is Tony Todd opening his mouth and having a mouthful of fucking bees fall on Virginia Madsen's face. Which, by the way, Virginia Madsen did that movie and is allergic to bees. Shit. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Uh huh. They had to pay Tony Todd. An extra thousand dollars every time he got stung by a bee. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So like there's a scene in that movie. I mean, that's and, how it have to be for me too. Like, listen, every time I get stung by a bee, I want a bonus. Like yeah. every single bee sting I get. Yeah. I, yeah. I want yeah. A bonus. That's he, gotta they, be in my contract for sure. He he said he got stung twenty six times, but they paid him twenty three thousand dollars. <laughs> yes. You know. And he was like, Yeah, the motherfucker still owe me three thousand. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. uh, yeah, I, I give this movie a, a, a B minus. If you're gonna watch it, I highly recommend you watch the original first and then watch this one. You know, like I don't think you should watch this as if you watch it as a standalone, it's fine. You know, but if you watch it with the other movie, I think it makes for a much better the B viewing plus, experience. Yeah, you you put extra credit into it, and that's right, why I, 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 the B minus, B minus, B minus. Like I, I'm, I'm a half a half B-. step above Monty. Yeah, I, I think I, I think it was Monty thinks is better you than OK. Some really excellent points when yeah. in regards to the story yeah. and everything and the direct. Yeah, you, you made some mm-hmm. excellent points. I, I I see what you're saying there. Yeah, because no, I didn't watch the array. I didn't have nothing to compare yeah. it to. But no, I I, I, I like you like you know yeah. Tony Todd said that when he did that movie, he wanted to do it like like well two things. One, they said that they wanted to do it like he wanted to make like his version of a Phantom of the Opera character. And I see that when I watched the original film. And he also said he wanted to make it kind of yeah. like a vampire movie. And I think it's kind of cool because it's almost like a reverse vampire movie where the only time you can see him is in mirror reflections. And oh, you can't actually okay. see him. So I thought, yeah. you know, and I, and the fact that the director, Nia DaCosta, saw the vision for that. It was like, I, I see what y'all were going for. And I know how to do that in 2020. Yeah. Right and was able to execute that so well, where you never see Candyman in person, you only ever see him in the reflecting in the mirrors. Yeah. And I thought that was that was a cool idea. Yeah, I gave it a B minus. It was All it, right. B, a B. It was like I said, it was it was almost really good. Yeah, y'all 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 finished or y'all done? I ain't got no more talking. Sweet Halloween and collard greens.